What's up everybody? Coyote Pipe Smoker here, uh, back with another video for you. I filmed a full intro to this video, and I've decided just to cut it out because I could not get this uh, tobacco lit at first. This is a full Virginia flake, Samuel Goweth full Virginia flake, in a Missouri Meerschaum. I think this is Missouri Pride pipe. A really basic, just cob. And these are not overrated. The hype around cobs <clears throat> is well deserved. They really do smoke perfect. First pipe I purchased was a Missouri Meerschaum Country Gentleman when I was in college. Uh, I just got some Cavendish tobacco. Country Gentleman pipe with the bent stem and it served me perfectly. It's still my favorite pipe, probably. Nice deep bowl. It's like a, if you pack it really full, it's like a two hour smoke if you take your time with it. Probably have like five or six of these things now. And uh, they serve me great. <clears throat> I left one of them out in the rain, unfortunately. Uh, like one of the few nights it rains in California, I leave my pipe out <clears throat> on the deck and it got ruined, but that's the beauty of it. It's like they cost six bucks, uh, so no harm. This is a full Virginia flake, Samuel Goweth. I think I said that already. Uh, really good tobacco if you just want like a down the middle, medium body smoke. Uh, <clears throat> really standard. I do get tongue bite with it a little bit. But I kind of think that's my technique just as much as anything. <clears throat> I haven't nailed down how to... To me, the Virginia tobaccos burn sort of hot. Uh, really easy to get tongue bite if you're not, if you don't smoke them slow and they're not the right moisture content, I find. <clears throat> that's a bit better. Anyway, I'm just drinking some water out of this big, gigantic beer stein. I drink a ton of water, guys, <clears throat> especially here uh, in California. It's getting a little bit warmer, and I'm exercising, uh, you know, three or four times a week. This is a short video just to check in on you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna get this, I'm not gonna let this get too long and rambly. Uh, it's Thursday night. Really pleasant out here, just enjoying the last uh, bit of daylight. And I uh, just thought I'd record a super quick video. Let me know what you guys are smoking on and uh, how your week has gone. I've had a great week. Uh, excited for Memorial Day weekend. Me and my girlfriend are going to go, we're going to drive down to Monterey and do some hiking there. It's too long since I've gone out and for a good hike, uh, so I'm very excited for that.
<clears throat> wanted to turn on some light there. It's really starting to get dark. Anyway, I'm not going to let this drag on too long. I hope, like I said, I hope everyone had a good week. I've been a little tired lately, but uh, very excited to come out here, relax, enjoy the rest of this uh, Samuel Goweth. And I'm going to read some of this book too. Sharp Solitude. It's a really good mystery story it takes place in Montana and I love a good mystery book while I'm out here I think these are my it's my new favorite genre of book really mysteries I read a couple of um, what's the guy's name he wrote the um, Jack Reacher his name is Lee Child uh, read a couple of those mystery books, mystery thriller books, I guess you would call them. And as the crickets get louder and louder in the background, I think I'm going to sign off. Uh, yeah, be sure to comment uh, what you guys are smoking and uh, let me know how your week went. I want to check in on all you guys. I should really make like a topic list so I have something to talk about. I just sort of come out here and ramble. But in any case, uh, have a good evening and thanks for watching. See you guys later.